So hey guys, welcome to the channel. Learn competitive programming with Code Chefs. If you want to learn competitive programming and master DSA, this is the right platform for you. Every week there are several videos on the concepts of data structures and algorithms and the editorials for the Code Chef contest. So if you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe the channel and turn on the bell notification to know the latest updates regarding the video. So myself Shirayu Jain, I'm a Code Chef educator, and the problem that we are going to take today in the series of stack and queue is queue versus stack so let's start okay guys so now let us understand the problem that is queue versus stack right so what we need to do this is a very basic problem and this is available on the code shift platform the link to this particular problem will be provided in the description of this particular video so you can get the problem from there right so let's start into the problem statement so what we have initially chef has an empty queue right so it has an empty queue chef does not know q data structure right chef has no knowledge of Q data structure but he masters stack data structure so he wants to build the q using exactly two stacks now chef will perform three types of operations on the q which he built using the two stacks so what he needs to does ultimately he needs to build a q data structure a q data structure with the help of stack right so exactly is two number of stacks right you cannot use more than two stacks so with the help of two stacks you want to build the queue right with the help of two stacks so now what he need to do uh, first of all if the operation is like that that is one and x x is some value right so what you need to do he need to add the value x to the queue he need to add the value x to the queue second pop the element from the queue if the second value is present as input so what you need to do is you need to pop the value from the queue and if the third value is present you need to print the front element from the queue right so these are the things that have been provided as input so certain type of input is matched to certain kind of terminologies right so if one is there then we need to add some value that is x here two is there then we need to pop out some value three is there then we need to print the front uh, value of the queue Right, so since chef couldn't solve the task, can you please help him to solve the task? Right, so what we need to do ultimately, we need to solve this. We need to build a queue with the help of two stacks and then perform these operations. Uh, whatever the input have been given to you, you need to perform the correct output for that particular input. So this is the ultimate problem statement. So like if you have not watched the previous uh, videos of this particular stacks and queues, so you do definitely watch them because that will provide a base to this particular questions about stack in the depth of stacks and queues, right? So ultimately you will be at an easy state to solve this particular problem, right? So this is a very decent problem statement for the very beginners. And now let's see how we can develop the approach for this particular problem. Okay guys, so now let us look at the approach of this particular problem. So basically to solve this problem, we have two approaches, right? So the first approach is to make the NQ operation costly. And the second approach is to make the DQ operation costly. So in the particular problem, what we need to do is we need to find out the NQ operation, how we can perform NQ operation, the DQ operation, and the finding the front of this queue, right? So I'll tell you that what is, there is some basic difference between these two approaches that in this first approach, we'll make NQ operation a, bit, uh, a little bit costly, that is order of N. And in this second approach, we'll also make the DQ operation very costly, that is order of N in the worst case, right? And uh, let's see the first approach, how we can uh, uh, like NQ the things uh, properly when we are taking two stacks instead of a queue and performing this queue operations, right? So let's look at these. So first of all, while enqueuing, what we need to do is we need to check. We have two stacks here that uh, we have two stacks here. So first we need to check that whether the stack one is empty or not, right? So if the stack one is empty, that means that we have no element present in this queue, right? So we directly enter the element into this queue. So here, let us take an example. If we want to enqueue five here, both the stacks are empty. Majorly, we are focusing on stack one. The stack one is empty. Then what we will do, we'll directly push the element to the stack that is five. Right, now there is a one entity in this stack one. Let us say that now we need to again enqueue an element that is three to the queue, right? So we can directly visualize this thing also here that what are the operations that we needed. We have very clear with the terminologies of the stacks, right? And as well as of queue, if you have not seen, then you can watch. 
so we have entered a file right this is the rear part of the queue this is the front part of the queue from where the elements are removed right now what we need to do we need to again enter the element 3 so now what we do is that we just pop the elements from this stack and then we'll again push the element in the stack 2 right so what we will do we'll just push the element or uh, pop the elements from the stack 1 that that means that 5 will be removed from here and what we do we push the element in the stack 2 right sorry so 5 will be entered here right 5 will be entered here okay so this is the case now what we do we just push the element that is the next element 3 to this stack on the top of this 5 right and then we again pop out all of these elements from the stack 2 and push it into the stack 1 so this element which should be above 5 right which should be above 5 in this stack 2 so either what we can do we can directly push it into the stack 2 or what we can do another approach will be that push it into the stack 1 and then remaining elements on the top of it right so this can be the either two approaches in both the cases the output output will be same either you can push it in this stack only or you can push it in the stack one and then after that what we'll do we'll just pop out all the elements from the stack two and then push it into the stack one right so in both the cases it will be same so now what we do is we have pushed the three into the stack two that means this stack holds the element in the priority such that this element is given this element is given the least priority why because in the queue data structure the element who entered first must be removed out first right that is the uh, fee for data structure right so that is the fee for data structure that is first in first out right so here only in this stack what we do is we keep the elements up with the least priority which should be removed afterwards and then after popping it out from this stack and entering into the stacks the element comes at the bottom right so now if you pop all the elements out from the stack and then push it into the stack one right so what happens is three comes down and above it five will come right above it five will come so this is how this is how it goes right this is how it goes on sorry we have not entered three from the front right so we'll always enter three from the back right that is from the rear side and then remove the elements from the front side so the three will be coming here right and the elements will be removed from here so let us say that this is an nq operation right this is an nq operation where we are entering the elements let us say if we want to enter eight over this we want to nq eight so what we do is again we'll pop out all the elements to the stack two right so three and five will be removed from stack one and enter to stack two right so this more looks like this that these elements are removed from here and these elements are entered like this first three then five oh, sorry so five is like on the top so first five will enter here and then three will enter here right and these elements are removed from this location now what we do is we nq which element that is eight so eight will be pushed at the top of this stack right and then we'll again pop all the elements and push it into this stack so popping all the elements and pushing it into the stack right so eight with the least priority then three and then five so this is how it looks like right so now this 8 is also entered here so if you make this queue a bit longer right so 8 is also entered here okay and let us say now we want to dequeue the elements right we want to dequeue the elements so what we will do is since nq is taking so much of time like removing all the elements from one stack and pushing it to the another stack and then again uh, pushing one element and then popping it all from the stack 2 and pushing it into the stack 1 so the dq operation is very simple it is an o1 operation just what we need to do we need to pop the element from the stack right because this is the front element also this is the front element also so what we need to do just pop this element out from the stack so if we want to dq then 5 will be removed 
and ultimately in the queue also you can see which elements to be uh, which elements needs to be dequeued that is five right so this is simple dq operation is pretty simple that is order of one here that is removing the simple element from this stack one and also if you want to know the front that is also same like if we want to know the front then the top of the stack will be the front element right the top of this particular stack will be the front element because this is pointing to front and this is at the rear part right so this is how the approach one looks like in the approach two if you want to make the dq operation very costly then what you need to do just perform the vice versa in both the nq and the dq cases just push the element here when you want to nq and when you want to dq just pop out the elements from this particular stack to this stack and then uh, if you want to dq it then remove the element from here right after removing the element you just need to add more elements here and then if you want to dq you can use the same stack that is the stack number two to dq the element more precisely that uh, approach should be more effective why because uh, we are not again just like transferring the elements from here to here not we are just not again transferring the elements from this stack two to stack one right but here what we need to do is just we need to have the front element as well right so the front element is also causing in the approach one the front element is also causing o1 so either approach you can use right that is not the case here because in the particular problem you are not concerned with more of time complexity both the approaches will work fine but here i am emphasizing that approach one right i have explained you the approach one in the same way you can also develop the code for the approach two it is very similar to this approach just what you need to do uh, we are taking the elements from here to there in the for the nq uh, uh, purpose just you can use the same for the dq purpose as well just nqing on the same stack and when you want to dq you can just move the elements here and then dq all the elements from there right so that can be the case in the making the dq operation costly and nq operation order of one right so we have understood the approach that how we are using the two stacks to perform nq operation dq operation and finding the front uh, uh, for the queue right f to, f to form the queue now let us see how we can code this approach in c++ let's begin okay guys so now let us see the code of this particular problem in c++ so first let us go to the driver function that is the main function and see what is happening there so similarly as discussed in the approach in the problem statement as well we will be using two stacks here since the size of the value uh, that we are getting as an input is uh, of the range 10 to the power 9 so what we will do is we are using long long int here for the stack and we are making two stack that is s1 and s2 now for all the test cases what we need to have is we need to have a value a right which denotes the operation that whether it is one which means the nq2 which means the dq and three which meaning uh, which means that we need to print the front of the queue right so similarly what we have uh, what i have done is we have making an if else condition over here that if a is equal to one that what we need to do we need to take a value which is the data value which we need to enter into the queue and putting that value and calling the nq function in the nq function i am passing three uh, arguments that is x the value which we need to add in the queue and s1 and s2 which denotes both the stack in the dq what we need to do just one stack is required that is s1 to dq uh, to dq one element from the stack and in the print also the front element only one stack is required that is s1 right so this is all what i have done and now let's look at the functions the main logic uh, lies in the functions that is nq so the first thing is nq operation right so here i have three elements and i am passing the references of this stacks and uh, why because actually we need to store the data in these stacks so i am passing the reference which means that the operations must be done at the address of this s1 and s2 stack which i am passing it from the main function right so as we have discussed in the uh, approach that what we need to do is first of all we need to empty the stack one and then push all the elements from the stack one to stack two right so what this is what i am doing here while as like stack one is not empty so here i am using the functions right i am not writing the logic for this empty because this will make the code a bit a more lo a longer code right so why not use the inbuilt functionality of c++ and just use the containers that is stacks and use the described functions for these right so s1 dot empty denotes that whether the stack is empty or not so if it is not empty then what we need to do is first of all we need to get the element here right how we can get the element that is the top of the stack uh, will denote one element right so we are getting the element here and then we are popping it out 
So popping means removing the element from the stack. It will not fetch you the element. What will fetch you the element is the top element, right? This function will give you the top element. So what we will do, we'll take the element here in this particular variable alley and then we'll push it into the stack two, right? And we are popping it all uh, also from the stack one, right? While the stack one is not empty. So this will push all the elements from the stack one to stack two. Now the data that we have, which we need to push into the queue, we'll push it into the stack two as we have discussed, right? We can either push it into stack one or we can directly push to stack two and then transfer all the elements from stack two to stack one. So the same thing applies here. We are, uh, while the stack two is not empty, we are popping all the elements from the stack two and pushing it into the stack one. This is all what we need to do in the NQ operation, right? So this is our NQ operation. The DQ operation is pretty simple. Just we need to pop it out from the stack one, right? This is the DQ operation. And the print front, which means uh, uh, printing the front element from the queue is what we need to print the top of this particular stack. That is the first stack that we are taking, right? So we need to print the top of that stack. So this is how all the operations are done. And this is how we are getting the result. So now uh, we'll take the code and submit it on the code chef platform. Okay, so let's submit the code. and the solution is accepted. So one more advice to you guys, if you want to practice more problems like these, and if you want to get Excel in the data structure and algorithm, you should go to the code chef platforms and try the monthly contest or the weekly contest that are handling on code yeah, at this particular platform, right? The problem design on this platform are such that it will enhance your skills, the logical skills, as well as the skills in the programming. So if you're new uh, to the programming, then please do practice the uh, pro programming problems on the CodeChef platform. Also, what you can do is if you want to learn programming and competitive programming, more precisely competitive programming. So what you can do, you can go to the Unacademy platform and search with competitive programming. There you will find multiple good educators with lots of content and you can watch these content over that particular platform. Also, you can go for the plus subscription, right? If you want. So go to the Unacademy platform, go to CodeChef platform and do coding.